Bristol City Football Club is a professional football club based in Bristol, England. They currently play in the EFL Championship, the second tier of English football. Founded in 1894, they have played their home games at Ashton Gate since 1904. The club has spent all but 11 years of its history playing in either the second or third tiers, nine of those have been in the top flight, with the most recent being in 1980. The club's highest ever league finish was second in the top flight in 1906-07. They were FA Cup runners-up in 1909, and won the Welsh Cup in 1934 despite being an English team. The club have also won the second-tier title once, the third-tier title four times, the Anglo-Scottish Cup once, and the Football League trophy a record three times. The club's home colours are red and white, and their nickname is the Robins, a robin featured on the club's badge from 1976 to 1994 and from 2019 onwards. Their main rivals are Bristol Rovers, with whom they contest the Bristol Derby, and Cardiff City, with whom they contest the cross-border Severnside Derby. This club was founded in 1894 as Bristol South End and changed their name to Bristol City on adopting professionalism three years later when they were admitted into the Southern League. Finishing as runners-up in three of the first four seasons, in 1900 the club amalgamated with local Southern League rivals Bedminster FC, who had been founded as Southville in 1887. City joined the Football League in 1901 when they became only the third club south of Birmingham to perform in the competition. Their first game in the Football League was on September 7, 1901 at Bloomfield Road, when Blackpool were beaten 2-0. A scheme has been informally approved by the parties interested for the amalgamation of the Bristol City and Bedminster Association football clubs. The leading conditions are that the name and colours of Bristol City shall be retained, that matches shall be played alternately on the ground of each club for one season, and that five directors shall be nominated by each club. This should lead to Bristol securing one of the strongest teams in the South. Gloucestershire Echo, April 12, 1900. The announcement of the merger between Bristol City and Bedminster. Winning the second division championship with a record number of points when they became the first club in football league history to win 30 league games in a season as well as equaling Manchester United's achievement of the previous season in winning 14 consecutive games. Nicknamed the Bristol Babe at this time, they finished as runners-up in their inaugural First Division campaign as the only Southern club to finish in the top two prior to World War I. In 1909 they won through to their only FA Cup final. Though they were somewhat fortunate that a last gasp spot kick saved them from defeat in the semi-final versus Derby County at Stamford Bridge. In the final at the Crystal Palace Bristol City lost to Manchester United 1-0. After a five-season stay in the top flight, despite winning 1-0 at Newcastle at the start of the 1910-11 campaign, failure to beat Everton. In the season's finale brought City's first ever taste of relegation and it was to be 65 years before top flight status would be regained. Bristol City would then go on to stay in Division 2 until three years after the First World War had ended, and in that time they reached the semi-finals. Of the 1919-20 FA Cup before being beaten 2-1 by Huddersfield Town and finished third in the second division in the 1920-21 season. However, in the next season they were relegated to the third division south. Chart of yearly table positions of Bristol City in the Football League The 1920s were a rocky time as City bounced between the second division and the southern section of the third division. The season after City were relegated, they achieved promotion back to the second division, before being relegated back to the southern section of the third division again the following season. After successive high finishes in the league, they were promoted again in 1926-27. However, by the 1930s they had slumped into the lower division and stayed that way until over 10 years after the Second World War. During this stay in the third division south, they won the Welsh Cup in 1934, beating Tranmere Rovers in the final. However, in the same year they also suffered their biggest ever league defeat, a 9-0 loss to Coventry City the 1937-38 season was the most successful season for City since they were relegated to the 3rd Division. Coming 2nd in the league and reaching the final of the 3rd Division South Cup, before losing 6-2 to Reading on aggregate. They then came 8th in the 3rd Division South in the final full season before the war, in which the grandstand of Ashton Gate was destroyed by a German air raid. In 1946-47, City recorded a record league win by beating Aldershot 9-0 although despite Don Clark scoring 36 goals in the league, City failed to get promoted that season. Harry Dolman became chairman in 1949, a post he would hold for over 30 years. An engineer who had bought out the firm he worked for, he designed the first set of floodlights installed at Ashton Gate in the early 1950s. 
The late 1950s were a better time for City, with a five-year stay in the second division, a league they returned to for a further spell in 1965. In 1967, Alan Dix was appointed manager, and things gradually began to improve, with promotion to the first division in 1976, ending a 65-year exile from the top flight. Between 1975 and 1981 City were regular participants in the Anglo-Scottish Cup, winning the trophy in 1977-78, beating Hibernian in the semi-finals. And winning 3-2 on aggregate in the final against St. Mirren. St. Mirren had their revenge two seasons later, with an aggregate 5-1 victory over City to become the only Scottish team to win the trophy. City's second stint in the top flight was less successful than the club's first, with 13th position in 1979 being their highest finish during this era. Stars of this era included Peter Cormack, Jeff Merrick, Tom Ritchie, Clive Whitehead, Jerry Gow, Trevor Tainton, and Jimmy Mann. In 1980, the City team went back to the second division in the first of three relegations, their debt mounted and their financial losses increased, with two successive relegations following. Thus, in 1982, they fell into the fourth division, and were declared bankrupt. A new club was formed and BCFC Limited acquired the club's player contracts. The highly paid senior players Julian Marshall, Chris Garland, Jimmy Mann, Peter Aitken, Jeff Merrick, David Rogers, Jerry Sweeney, and Trevor Tankton, who became known as the Ashton Gate 8, each accepted termination of his contract for half the amount due. The club's previous owners had failed to pay its debts to many local businesses. The resulting ill will towards the club made it difficult for the new owners to obtain credit. City spent two seasons in the fourth division before winning promotion under Terry Cooper in 1984. They consolidated themselves in the third division during the latter part of the 1980s, and in 1990 Cooper's successor Joe Jordan achieved promotion as third division runners-up to local rivals Bristol Rovers. There was a tragedy for the club, however, in that promotion campaign. In March 1990, two months before the club sealed promotion, Striker Dean Horrocks was killed in a car crash barely two weeks after joining the club, and having played three league games for them. Jordan moved to Heart of Midlothian in September 1990, and his successor Jimmy Lumsden remained in charge for 18 months before making way for Dennis Smith. Smith's first signing was the 20-year-old Arsenal striker Andy Cole, who was an instant hit with fans. He was sold to Newcastle United in February 1993 and later played for Manchester United, where he collected five Premier League titles, two FA Cups and the European Cup. Meanwhile, City remained in the new Division 1 and Smith moved to Oxford United in November 1993. His successor was Russell Osman. In January 1994 Osman led City to a shock 1-0 victory over Liverpool at Anfield in a third-round replay in the FA Cup, a result that would cause the Liverpool manager at the time, Graham Sunis, to resign. Osman was sacked within a year of taking charge. Joe Jordan was brought back to Ashton Gate in September 1994, but was unable to prevent relegation to Division 2. Jordan remained at the helm for two seasons after City's relegation, but left in March 1997 after failing to get them back into Division 1. Former Bristol Rovers manager John Ward took over, and achieved promotion in 1998 as Division 2 runners-up. But City struggled back in Division 1, and Ward stepped down in October 1998 to be succeeded by Benny Leonardson, their first non-British manager. City were relegated in bottom place and Leonardson was dismissed in favour of Gillingham's Tony Pulis, who lasted six months before leaving to take over at Portsmouth. During his time at Ashton Gate he was manager of perhaps the worst City side since the one that completed a hat-trick of successive relegations almost 20 years earlier. Coach Tony Fotherab took over until the end of the season, when Danny Wilson was appointed. Wilson was arguably the most prominent manager to take charge of a City side since Dennis Smith, as he had guided Barnsley to promotion to the Premier League in 1997 and Sheffield Wednesday to a 12th place finish in 1999. The early 2000s were a frustrating time for Bristol City. They were regular Division II playoff contenders during Wilson's spell as manager. They just missed out on the playoffs in 2002, finishing 7th. The following year, Wilson almost took them to automatic promotion, finishing third and winning the Football League trophy in Cardiff in 2003. The taste of the playoffs was bitter though, losing to rivals Cardiff City 1-0 on aggregate in the semi-final. In his final year, 2004, they finished in third place again, and this time they reached the playoff final, but lost to Brighton and Hove Albion. He was sacked within days and replaced by veteran player Brian Tanayan. 
City just failed to make the playoffs in Tanayan's first season as manager, finishing 7th, and he stepped down in September 2005 after a poor start to the season. City's form had slumped despite the addition of high-profile players, including Marcus Stewart and Michael Bridges. Yeovil Town manager Gary Johnson was recruited as his successor. Pitch invasion at Ashton Gate after securing promotion in 2007 Johnson arrived in September 2005, making the move from Yeovil Town, with whom he had gained two promotions. Initial results were poor, but Johnson was soon able to recover the season and finish in a comfortable ninth place. In the 2006-07 season, Bristol City finally achieved the elusive promotion that had evaded them in their eight years in the third tier. Promotion to the championship was confirmed on the final day of the season with a 3-1 win against already relegated Rotherham United, securing the runners-up place in the division and resulting in automatic promotion and joyous scenes of celebration. After a good start in the championship, City established themselves as real contenders, sitting in third place at Christmas. By the start of March, City were top of the championship, making an improbable second successive promotion a possibility. However, a poor run ended City's chances of an automatic promotion place but qualified for the playoffs with a fourth-place finish, their highest finish since 1980. City overcame Crystal Palace 4-2 on aggregate to progress to the playoff final at Wembley, where they were beaten 1-0 by Hull City. After a poor start in the first half of the 2008-09 season, City recovered after Christmas, peaking at fourth place in late February. After a lot of draws, the season eventually petered out and City finished the season in 10th place. The 2009-10 season saw some good results in the autumn, but heavy defeats by local rivals Cardiff City and Doncaster Rovers in early 2010 led to much dissatisfaction amongst fans, and Johnson left the club on March 18, 2010. Assistant manager Keith Millen took charge as caretaker manager, and led a series of good results, resulting in a second successive 10th place finish. Steve Koppel became manager in 2010 but resigned after just two matches. Longtime assistant manager Keith Millen was announced as Capel's successor and City labored to a 15th place finish in 2010 11. After a poor start to the 2011 12 season, Millen left the club in October 2011. Derek McInnes was appointed next, but after a promising start, City fell into the relegation zone, eventually surviving in 20th place, their worst since promotion in 2007. This steady decline would continue and after a poor start to the 2012-13 season, McInnes was sacked in January 2013 with City bottom of the championship. He was replaced by Sean O'Driscoll, the club's fifth head coach in three years, but City were relegated to League 1 after six seasons in the championship. O'Driscoll left with the team 22nd in League 1. Steve Cotterell joined the club, which ushered in the start of the revival. When he joined, the club were bottom of League 1. Cotterell guided the club to safety and finished the season 12th. Had the season started when Steve Cotterell joined the club, Bristol City would have finished 5th, showing the scale of the turnaround. Bristol City were promoted back to championship for 2015-16 season after securing the 2014-15 Football League 1 title, their first league title since 1955. In their last home game, against Walsall, they finished the season in style, winning 8-2. Bristol City finished the season with 99 points, the most points in a single season in the club's history, and only five losses. In the same season, they also won the 2015 Johnston's Paint Trophy after a win over Walsall, which finished 2-0 in their third league trophy, a record held by the club for having the most wins in that competition. Despite huge success in the previous season, the club struggled on their return to the second tier. Steve Cotterell was relieved of his duties in January 2016 after a poor run of form which had seen Bristol City slip to 22nd in the championship table. Lee Johnson, former player and son of former manager, Gary Johnson, was appointed as Bristol City's new head coach on February 6, 2016. Bristol City eventually finished in 18th place. Bristol City started the 2016-17 season well, and after 11 games they were 5th in the league table, and City also appeared in the last 16 of the League Cup for the first time since the 1988-89 season. However, a sharp downturn in fortunes followed over the winter, and City were only just able to accumulate enough points to ensure survival at the end of the season. Lee Johnson remained at the helm for the following season, again making a positive early start. At the midpoint of the season, after 24 league games, they sat second in the championship, whilst also knocking out Premier League opposition in Watford, Stoke City, Crystal Palace and Manchester United to reach the semi-finals of the League Cup. 
However, a poor run of form followed and City finished the season in 11th place. Bristol City ended the 2018-19 season in 8th, after experiencing a roller coaster season including a 7-win streak. The battle for the last playoff spot came down to the final day, before Derby County managed to win their final game and clinch it. From March to June, the 2019-20 season was suspended due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Despite again challenging for the playoffs during the season, Johnson was sacked on July 4, 2020 after a run of just one win in 10 league matches. His longtime assistant, Dean Holden, was appointed as his replacement on August 10, 2020. After suffering six straight defeats in all competitions, Holden was dismissed on February 16, 2021 after just six months in charge. He was replaced by former Watford boss, Nigel Pearson. Note, the numbers in parentheses are the tier of football for that season. League domestic cup source for 1970s winners, Bristol City have played in red and white since the 1890s, occasionally also including black. The away kit is more variable. It is traditionally white, but has also featured black or yellow. Other colors featured have included green and a purple and lime combination, the latter of which has become a fan favorite. About halfway through the 2007-08 season Bristol City manager Gary Johnson said in an interview that he hoped the team could get the whole ground bouncing. City supporters took this rallying cry on board and began to sing Johnson Says Bounce around the ground to the tune of Yellow Submarine, while continually bouncing up and down. The first game at which it was sung was in an away match against Southampton at St. Mary's Stadium, and it was also sung at away at Queen's Park Rangers in February. When Bristol City fans travelled to London to play Charlton Athletic on March 4, 2008, the visiting fans, using the rail network to return home, adapted the song to bounce around the train. Since then, It has become an often used chant at Ashton Gate Stadium by the fans, and city manager Gary Johnson even joined in with the bouncing himself. It was also sometimes used by supporters of Gary Johnson's former side Northampton Town, primarily at away matches. When Gary Johnson's son, Lee Johnson returned to his former club in 2016 as their new manager, he stated that he wished to inherit the chant and keep the fans singing it. Bristol City's traditional rivals are Bristol Rovers. The clubs have met 105 times, with the first meeting in 1897. Bristol City have the most wins on 43. However, the clubs have not been in the same league for a number of years, they were last in the same division in the 2001 season. Since then, they have only met three times, in the two-legged Southern final of the 2006-07 Football League trophy, which Rovers won 1-0 on aggregate, and in the first round of the 2013-14 Johnston's Paint Trophy, which City won 2-1 at Ashton Gate. City's other main rivals are Cardiff City, who play in nearby Cardiff. Despite being a local derby, it crosses the Wales-England border, making it one of the few international club derbies in the United Kingdom. The two clubs have been at similar levels in recent years, being in the same division for 10 of the last 16 seasons. This has met frequent meetings in the league including in the semi-finals of the 2003 second division playoffs. Other clubs have been seen as third rivals by the fans and media. Swindon Town are seen by many as rivals, nicknamed Swindle by City fans. This rivalry was most recently relevant in the 2014-15 season, when the two clubs were rivals for promotion to the championship. Plymouth Argyle have also previously been considered rivals despite a distance of over 100 miles. The rivalry was especially relevant in the 2000s when the two clubs were the highest-ranking West Country clubs for a number of years, and meetings were seen as a decider of the best in the West. Swansea City, Newport County, Cheltenham Town and even Yeovil Town have previously been mentioned as rivals, but very rarely. However, during a fixture between Bristol City and Swansea City on February 2, 2019 at Ashton Gate, fighting took place between Bristol City and Swansea City fans resulting in a rivalry flaring up between the two sets of fans. Note, flags indicate national team as defined under FIFA eligibility rules. Players may hold more than one non-FIFA nationality. Note, Flags indicate national team as defined under FIFA eligibility rules. Players may hold more than one non-FIFA nationality. Note, flags indicate national team as defined under FIFA eligibility rules. Players may hold more than one non-FIFA nationality. For a list of all Bristol City players with a Wikipedia article, see category Bristol City FC players. Bedminster merged with Bristol City in 1900 for a further list of all Bedminster players with Article C Category Bedminster FC players for a list of notable. 
Bristol City players in sortable list format where the criteria for inclusion is set out as 100 appearances for the club C list of Bristol City FC players. Bristol City have played at Ashton Gate Stadium in the southwest of Bristol, just south of the River Avon, since moving from St. John's Lane in 1904. The ground currently has an all-seated capacity of 27,000. It was the home of Bedminster until the 1900 merger, and the merged team played some games there the following season, but it did not become the permanent home of Bristol City until 1904. In the past plans were considered for expansion work to be carried out at Ashton Gate. There were also proposals to build a new 36,000-seat stadium at Hengrove Park. This was turned down in a local referendum in December 2000. In 2002, the local council was looking at possible sites for a new 40,000-seat stadium which would house both City, Rovers, and Bristol Rugby. But these plans were scrapped and it is widely accepted that this would not have been welcomed by the majority of supporters from all clubs. Ashton Gate's current capacity is an average size for championship grounds, however, in November 2007 the club announced plans to relocate to a new 30. 000 capacity stadium in Ashton Vale plans were also in place to increase capacity to 42,000 had the England 2018 World Cup bid been successful. The South Stand opened for the 2015-16 season, with the existing Williams Stand being demolished and replaced by the Lansdowne Stand in 2016. A new partly artificial Deso pitch was laid and the current Dolman Stand refurbished. There is still no decision on the club's request to provide a safe standing area, similar to those used in Germany. A state-of-the-art training facility became operational in 2020. The Robins High Performance Center is at Phelan a short distance from Ashton Gate Stadium. The women's team was formed in 1990 supported by the club's community officer, Sean Parker. Their greatest achievement was reaching the semi-finals of the FA Women's Cup in 1994 and winning promotion to the Premier League under manager Jack Edgar in 2004. Following the decision by the FA to fund only one center of excellence in Bristol, the two senior teams were disbanded in June 2008 and the girls' youth side merged with the Bristol Academy WFC. The majority of the senior players, with coach Will Roberts, moved to the University of Bath in summer 2008 and now play as AFC Team Bath Ladies in the South West Combination Women's Football League. Most club appearances including substitute appearances in all competitions. Updated December 29, 2013. Note, on December 29, 2013, Louis Carey broke Bristol City's appearance record when he came on as a substitute in the 4-1 win over Stevenage. He overtook John Ato after 47 years and is now the club's all-time top appearance maker. Correct as of July 29, 2018. Thanks for watching.